Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to use the Sketcher workbench and I'm going to be designing a bicycle frame basic outline. So, uh, where are we? So I'm using version 0.12 of FreeCAD and you can easily get um, the uh, you can download FreeCAD from their website. If you click on more options there, there's options to add PPAs of the latest. Uh, there's daily builds, things like that. So, as I say, we're designing a bike frame. Um, I've picked on Ragley bikes because quite like them, I quite like the piglet. Um, there's a picture right there, it's a nice frame. And on their website they've kindly provided some geometry details. So I've just taken the 18 inch frame and made a note here of the details and just converted the imperial units into metric and done some sort of inverse of the angles just in case I need those which we'll see in a minute okay so in FreeCAD I'm just going to start a new file make sure you're in the part design workbench and in tasks we click create sketch keep it to the XY plane turn the grid on, I'll turn auto constraints off because as you'll see in a minute I don't want to auto constrain it, I'm going to add my own constraints and um, we'll filter all, all the constraints so they all show up in this window so let's just remind ourselves of what the bike looks like again so yeah we got the seat tube, head tube, down tube, top tube, um, seat stay, chain stay, that's the basic construction. So I'm going to choose create a line in the sketch, I'm just going to really roughly sketch it out, it doesn't matter at this stage because all the work is done with the constraints so the aim is, it says here in this solver, um, it does some calculations, tries to solve the model. At the moment we have 24 degrees of freedom, so there's 24 different uh, movements, degrees of freedom we can have. So we need to try and constrain that down until we have zero. And this is where it gets quite fun, because FreeCAD tries to calculate each time you apply constraints and it doesn't always get it right because it's still in development it can be a bit frustrating sometimes but we'll see how we get on so coincident constraint um, we know the seat angle and the head angle so I just click on the seat tube fix the angle. That fixes it relative to the x-axis. I double click on the constraint to edit it and I want minus... I should do that. Do the same with the head angle. Okay, make some coincident constraints. You see, as we add constraints, the degrees of number of degrees of freedom are dropping. So it's an 18-inch frame, so we can set 
the length of this tube. No, I won't do that yet, actually. <laughs> Uh, if I want to fix a point to a line or an object, I choose that. Uh, see, it uh, doesn't always work according to plan. So I can just highlight the constraint, press delete. There we go. I just want to leave a little bit showing here because that's what we've got on the actual bike. Right. So the definition of bottom bracket drop is distance between the centre here and the bottom bracket uh, vertically. So instead of using a length constraint, we use a vertical distance constraint. Like that. Here I can use a length constraint. I don't actually have the data for this, so I'm just going to make it up. And now we can add the 18 inch frame size. So that's 457. Okay, that's gone wrong. Won't do that one yet then. We'll set the chain stay length. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. See this is where the solver comes in. Uh, it tries to solve the model with the constraints it's given and obviously if it's under constrained it does crazy things and sometimes it doesn't really calculate things properly but it's still in development Okay, we're getting there. Eight degrees of freedom left. <sighs> so, again, I don't have the data for this, so I'm going to make it up. Just call that five mil. Let's remind ourselves what this looks like again. It's 
so we're getting there constraint on there so if I click and drag things around you can see that the solver is constantly trying to solve it and, and it also you can get an idea of your degrees of freedom so which which objects don't have aren't properly constrained so the angle of this isn't constrained so we can fix that that leaves us with three degrees of freedom we need to know the height of the bottom bracket and that's defined as 314 The effective top tube length, which is defined horizontally, so we need to add a horizontal constraint. One degree of freedom left. So now the the sketch can only move in this degree of freedom which is translational X so all that remains is to fix that and you see the sketch is now turned green and it says fully constrained sketch so that's it basically A brief introduction to the sketch workbench and constraints.